We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's the pivotal Game 5 of the World Series between the Washington Nationals and the Minnesota Twins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And, Danny, this is still anyone's series here as we get ready for Game 5. Well, they're down three games to one, so it's do-or-die time now. That's not a good place to be, obviously, but we do see some teams play their best when their backs are up against the ropes. The key is to just take it one game at a time and not worry about how many more wins you need. The build-up to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Leading off for the Twins, the right fielder, Marcus Julie. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that, that like to second. see this guy on the mound. The base, Stepping in now, Bo Staten. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. And it's fouled away. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. And with two away now, let's take another look at our playoff brackets. And, of course, the question on everybody's mind, will we crown a champion here tonight? So striding in, Val Alonzo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Val Alonzo. Hey, here we go. Now the pitch. This is pulled into right. Rodriguez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So nothing in the Minnesota first. We'll head to the second from target field. No score here on the show. Last half of the second set to go. And next it'll be the outfielder, Art Hillman. The left fielder, number 73. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, yeah, no keeps things here. under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James hey, Kingsley will now. never show you up, and he's always approachable. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. High in the air, down the right field line. And foul. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. 
Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Batting fifth. At the plate, Tommy Kidd. Tommy. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Oh and one here it comes. Swing and a miss it's oh and two. Boy so far early into this one this guy's pitching really well and I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball he's working really quick keeping the ball down in the zone and if you take a look at this guy so far early on a lot of positive signs he looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Grounded slowly to the left side he's right there. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So stepping in, Andy Drew, through. as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Hey, she down here. First pitch of the at bat. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curb, strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Leading off the inning, Warner Campanella, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First delivery to him on the way. Ball. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. The 1-0. Is looked at for the first strike. One and two to the Twins catcher. One and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode batting eight the third baseman Larry Aragon so now to the plate Larry Aragon as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Aragon, the former Miami Marlin, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. 
the 0 2 once more. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Batting nut, the center fielder. Ready, Gerald. Two down, two down. Now the pitch. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Two out, nobody on. Hey, come on, guys. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch down the first baseline. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. They trail it here, two to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Marcus Dooley. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The windup and the 0-1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Into the box now. Bo State. Strike one to start the at-bat. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Now batter, the first baseman, now Alonzo. At the plate now, Val Alonzo. As you watch a knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey! Hey, and the beat goes on, that's number eight. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Get down here. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. They're still down. It's two nothing. Leading up for the win, the left fielder. First offering on its way. Three. 
in there. 0-1. Oh, and one. Oh, one's the count. Okay, all right, here we go. Yeah. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. No outs here. And the pitch. One, Chopper one, one. to short. Scooped up. And there's oh. one down now. Digging in for his second at bat, now Tommy bad. Kidd. He got on top of one and was a ground out Tommy. victim last time. Yeah. One out, one out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. One, Hit one, on one. the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. On to first, oh. and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. Into the box now, Andy Drew. Now He'll swing it from the left side off. right here. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. Here's the 0-1. Line drive to left. And that's the first hit in this one for Minnesota. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. And he looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Hey, plays a one now. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Hey, two down here. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Nationals two and the Twins nothing. Into the box now, Larry Aragon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system, especially now he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Here comes the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike oh, one. one. Ball, and he cool. lays off for ball one. Hey, let's go right here, huh? The one-one. Is a slider Whoa, taken for a ball. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Hey, no outs here. To two and two now. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one.
Now batting, center fielder. In now, Freddie Gerald. Gerald. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Now the 0 1. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Another one sent foul. One down, one down. The next 0 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Now batting, the right fielder. Marcus. Into the box, Marcus Dooley. Dooley. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Two down now. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Fly ball out to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down go the Twins in order. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. So coming to the plate, Bo Staten will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Now here's the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. The next 0-2 to pitch to him misses outside. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Now bad. To the plate now, Val Alonzo. As you watch a knuckleball that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Hey, one away, one away. Grounded to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Art Hillman. Now batter, number 73. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, 
You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now and the inning is over. Twins are set down 1-2-3. They can't chip into that 5-0 deficit. Ready once again, Tommy Kidd. He leads off their half of the eighth and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Owen won the count. Now the pitch. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Hey, no outs now. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Standing in now, Andy Drew. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Griffin is there now, and he has it, two gone. Stepping in, Warner, Campanella. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Behind 0-2 now. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. So digging in now, Larry Aragon. And obviously, they'll need a ninth inning rally here if this series is going to make it to a game six. Aragon. Here's the first pitch. Ball, that's out. Hey. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up Here we with go, it. Fellas. Let's go. The one and one pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Griffin yeah, 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 is yeah. there, one away. Digging in once again, Freddie Gerald. Oh, he comes in 0 for 2 thus Let's far. Freddie Gerald. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Here you go now. Let's go. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight, and the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. The right fielder, number one. At the plate, Marcus Dooley. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at 1 and 1. We got one out here. The 1 and 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. 
Gerald stands at first with one out. Here we go now. Let's go. Got him. Hey. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Now batting, second baseman. Into the box now, Bo Staten. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Hey, just you and him. Damn yourself. Final strike for the Twins. Struck him out, and it's over. They are World Series champions. Wow, World Series champions. The only thing that could have made this sweeter would have been doing it in front of the home crowd. But hey, they're not complaining, believe me. Now they can look forward to celebrating during the parade as they bring the World Series trophy home. What a moment for this team, this organization, and that city. Back now on the show. It's all over. And you see the reactions there to the final out. And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs.